Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Sacred Heart Church here in Kilburn on this Sunday afternoon. It may seem strange to be recording the morning prayer in preparation for tomorrow, um, but we've just finished three most beautiful days here in Kilburn celebrating various feasts. And I thought at the end of the feast celebration today that we would conclude with our morning prayer for tomorrow. On Friday, it was the Feast of the Sacred Heart. Our church here is the Sacred Heart. Saturday, it was the Feast of the Immaculate Heart. And our church in West Kilburn is dedicated to the Immaculate Heart. And today, we celebrated in Kilburn the Feast of St. Anthony of Padua, probably the most popular saint in the Catholic Church. We had a celebration here this afternoon with many people and the candles on the floor represent the prayers of the people from this parish. So as we begin our time of prayer, let's place ourselves now in the presence of God, the God who knows us and the God who loves us. And may all we do on this day be done in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we gather in your name to ask your blessing on ourselves, our families and our parishes. Bless the oblate family scattered throughout the world. Keep us true to the vision of our founder, Eugene de Mazenod. May we recognise in those on the margins of our church and our society the face of your Son. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. There's a line from Scripture which is appropriate for me today, for obvious reasons. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am humble and gentle in heart, and you'll find rest for your soul. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to gather in your name, to be strengthened by you. When the day is long and our energy is waning, give us hope, give us courage and give us your strength. Bless us and all those we have prayed for this day. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a lovely day. God bless you. And let's pray for one another. <laughs>